Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampis. Um, today I'm kind of in a weird environment. I am in my bathroom because I want to share with you my evening skincare routine. How do I keep this beautiful melanin skin uh, nourished, taken care of? How do I keep it shining? How do I keep it moisturized? I'm going to share with you all those tips today. it's a different video in comparison to what we have been doing in the past but as you all know from last week's video Ale is now gone back to Italy and I'm by myself so I wanted to record something that I can discuss with you all that doesn't require Ale to be there before we get to that I would also like to inform you that I'm planning to do a giveaway in Namibia in four weeks when we go back for holiday please watch until the end for the details and also to see what I'm going to give away I'm, I'm excited I think I have something really nice to give and just I'm excited to share with you guys now I think probably you could hear a very weird noise in the background the fan in our bathroom is always very very loud so bear with me on that one so for this routine, this is something that I do after work, somewhere between the time that i uh, watching TV and before I go to bed. I don't do this directly before I go to bed just because I feel like uh, once I wait until I'm really tired and want to go to bed, I would not have energy to, to take care of my skin. So I would prefer that when I come home after work, you know get off the wear clothes put on everything more comfortable like shorties and a vest and maybe have dinner then after dinner i do the skincare routine and then watch tv or read something before i go to bed the first thing i do the first thing i do is wash my face and for that in the evening i use this i hope you can see it most of the product that I use at the moment are now from EL. This is like the night micro cleansing form. This is the one that I use in the evening. It's supposed to be helping my skin clean, get clean. Then I add a little bit in the part, this, this bit, bam with my hands. It doesn't really form the normal bubbly level, but it's fine. Then I apply this on my forehead. So when it comes to cleansing, I use the five minute method or theory because I felt like, you know, when I just do it in a minute or 30 seconds, maybe the skin, I don't give my skin enough time to, or the chemicals enough time to really get in contact with the skin and work. So I give this at least five minute while I'm massaging. If I wear makeup, I first start by, of course, using the makeup remover and removing all that. But to be honest, I'm somebody who doesn't really like makeup. Or maybe I just don't know how to use it. I don't apply makeup a lot, especially when I'm going to work. Maybe on few nights, if I go out with some friends, I do that. But most of the days when I just go to work, I don't do that. I also don't have time to... To, to apply makeups in the morning is time consuming, drawing the eyebrows and all things. And I don't know how to do that thing. Maybe I still have to learn. I don't know how to do that. Yes, we are ready. I'm going to rinse this off. I do this with warm water until everything is off. Then I go off again with cold water. Then after that, I rinse again with really cold water now the reason I use cold water afterward is because I learned somewhere or I read somewhere that it does help actually close the pores after cleaning the face and I'm somebody I think I have huge pores or big pores so I try always every day in the morning and in the evening to clean my face at least wash it I try every day in the morning and in the evening to rinse my face with cold water. After this, I go in with my 
don't know if you can see this this is how i keep my cotton <laughs> i take two of this and then apply my toning solution and this here i don't know if you can read that just because i don't know if the camera can focus this is the one that I use from Clinique, anti-blemish solution. I use this because uh, my skin is very oily and this helps a lot in comparison to all the toners I've used before. This is quite good. When I'm using the toner, I find that the toners are quite strong so I don't even um, apply a lot of force on my face. I just do it gently, gently that. So I try to, to give myself time. I'll actually call it are you already marinating are you marinating your face <laughs> now in the morning when I wash my face I also include or uh, you know extend the the cleansing lotion at least up to around the neck but when I do it in the evening I don't do it I don't breathe that low because I feel like it might just dirtify and drip everywhere on the floor under the chin tone all the way and usually just check when this is clean I feel like I've cleaned my face very well. Okay, that's kind of already good. Now, my favorite thing in the evening is this. Ah, this is my favorite serum at the moment. Really, I don't have... No, I have another one also from the same brand, but this is the one that I like to use in the evening. It's um, EL Advanced Night Repair with a recovery complex i just love it i mean i think it works and i feel like when i wake up my face feel really re-energized relaxed recovered from the day especially during the summer also during the winter when my skin just gets so dry so for this i take about three drops i mean uh, yes maybe half a drop up here one here I try to make sure that I don't the contain this doesn't touch my skin. I'm a biologist by profession. I just uh, think that might contaminate the whole thing and I don't want that. So I just three drops on my face. Even though I think three drops maybe are a lot, but I have this in a big bottle and I feel like I can use three drops because maybe if I don't use it as fast as it should be you might get expired this is very very good um i love the way it just easily absorb into my skin very fast it's not oily doesn't make my skin feel oily uh, i love this i give let me say a minute to two minutes until this has completely absorbed and already a lot of it dry on the face then i move on to the moisturizer also this is called el el revitalizing supreme it's supposed or it contains anti-aging cell power cream and this guys this is um anti-aging cream uh, when it comes to anti-aging i think it it depends on how you're feeling i didn't use anti-aging until maybe beginning of this year that's i'm now over 30 and i'm just thinking okay i can see lines on my face already so i feel like my skin is now old enough for me to start using anti-aging that's how i feel i, I mean it's, it's a personal thing maybe depending on how your skin is you might want to start later or earlier but for me i feel now to be honest over three years i've seen few lines under the eyes so i feel like it's now it's now i need to start before it's too late again i do this and this this is also very nice it absorbs well in the skin and yeah the next thing I do after all that, the last step is usually honestly adding my eye cream. And before I do that, I usually wash my hands because I feel like maybe everything else has chemicals that I don't 
need to bring in close contact with my eyes. So I clean myself and move on to applying my eye cream. Now for the eyes, I have also something from EL and this is, um, it's called again the Night Advanced Night Repair. It comes in a very small container like this. I think it's about five, five ml. Very, very small. I do this underneath the eye and also on top of the eyelid to make sure that my eyes are also moisturized and they can recover very well while I'm sleeping. So after that, after that, I'm kind of obviously like after that I'm done. Uh, one thing that I haven't shared with you that I usually do sometimes three times a week I use a sheet mask that I use on my face as an extra moisturizing power that's not an everyday thing and today I just wanted to show you what I do every day now but the very very last step which is not it's not really skincare but it's hair care but it's an important important step in my evening routine and before we get to that guys let me show you how long my hair is at the moment because i think none of you have seen that because this is how long my hair is at the moment can you see ah uh, it just goes back my hair is like a 4c around here but i would say here maybe it's the top on top of the head is about maybe 4B because it's quite soft but around here it's very very I would just call it crispy maybe it's even 6C so once I'm done with my face I just put on a head scarf I can't sleep without this on my head I can't I can't and so my evening routine is not complete if I don't have this on I'm not ready to go to bed uh, the first stuff I'm giving away here are this so very very nice here i have uh, a set from the ordinary i have had this set for i would say about four months now but i just have never used it i tried once and then i was like uh, i i like the product from el better it's like a whole set of um, chemical exfoliator a toner and then i have here a concentrated amount of uh, vitamin C and I don't want to throw it away maybe somebody from my YouTube community would like to get this product another second item I want to give away is this um, what is it called facial cleansing or purifying brush it's supposed to help you clean your face better other than uh, using your hands I did use it a few times. I did use it actually with these two brushes, maybe on two occasions, but I stopped using it just simply because I'm I'm lazy. It comes with five different brushes and you can operate it with a battery. It kind of you know, add your cleansing form here and apply it to your face if you have time and patience. But I don't have that. That's why I stopped using it. You guys, this is very, very nice if you're interested in getting this for free i'm not selling this i just don't want to throw it away because i think i've used it only two to three times so the very last item i want to give away i don't have it with me at the moment but i want to give away my textbook from the biology from the uni time i have a textbook by brock biology of microorganisms Maybe there is somebody who watches Lempi who is studying biology and interested in getting this textbook for free. I have kept it for a while because I used it also during my PhD and I thought maybe somebody from the family might be interested in studying biology but my cousins are not into that. So I just don't want to throw it away. Or before I throw it away, I first want to know if there's anybody who would like to get this. So guys, I am officially ready to go to bed that was it for me today but before i leave i would like to let you know that if you're interested in any of the item that i would like to give away and you leave 
in my home country, Namibia, Winduk in particular, or other cities like Walvisby or Katima. I'm also going to go there. Then leave a comment in the comment section below this video with the item that you like to get. So the ordinary for the cosmetic product, the book, just read book or textbook, and then brush if you like to get this uh, purifying or cleansing brush. Also make sure that you are have subscribed to our channel and you have also subscribed to Lempi's Instagram page. I'll choose the winner, I think, from the YouTube comments and then I'll definitely hand over the goods to you in Wintook by myself because I'll be home for holiday. I don't know if Ali will be there because Ali is going to stay fewer days than I am but definitely I'll make sure that I give all the goods away before I leave home and I hope I'll find somebody who would like to get this stuff away from me. I don't want to throw things away. It sometimes is very painful because I haven't even used most of the things. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and most important guys, always leave us a comment. I learn a lot from your comment, especially this was a skincare routine or video. I'm not really so much into skincare. I, I think I am into skincare. Let me say, maybe I'm not so much into makeup, but I like to take care of my skin. All right. See you in our next video. Why am I even saying our next video? I'm just by myself, but greetings from Ali as well. When I talk to Ali today, said I should say hello to you all at the end of the video. And see you in our next video. For sure, our next video, we're going to shoot it together when I go to Italy for holiday for a weekend or for two days, I don't know. Yeah. Ciao, ciao, ciao.